Dins. Let's get into Dins. Hello, everyone. Welcome to One Piece Dungeons and Dragons episode 29. Uh, this is a very exciting episode because we're one off episode 30. That, that's that's a good big number. Um, it's a big, big old 3 0, but we're not there yet. We're tw episode 29. Is anyone here 29 years old? Uh, no, 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 no. Not this time. It's gonna be a while. It's gonna be. A, it's gonna be a decent while until we get to nobles episode. Wow. <laughs> a decent while. <laughs> Thank you, man. Not that long. Not yeah, that man. long. <laughs> what the fuck, man? All right. When we I'll get be dead by the time <laughs> we get to like episode fifty-two, and it's like finally. <laughs> No oh, episode. Yeah, oh god! Yeah, about time you made it here. Okay. <laughs> um, all right. Well, welcome to episode twenty-nine of One Piece: Dungeons and Dragons. It's very nice for you all to be here across the three different streams that you guys are here in. Um, I'm here again with Mr. William Tekking, Mr. Duros Lost Paws, Mr. Verona Too Spooky, and Ragnar Briggs. Like it's their full names. <laughs> uh, if you, <laughs> um, yeah, where we left off the previous episode, Helios had just been like beaten by Cyril, got all wetted up, and his bandage like came off, and we saw this like spacey galactic part of his body. I mean, it's just like the Sterans have on their body. Um, you knocked Luna unconscious, so Luna's currently unconscious, and. That's literally where we to be continued. So, uh, for the characters, no time has passed. Immediately, Helios is on the ground there. He's like, don't, don't look at me. Ugh. And that was jacked up, man. Trying to cover up the, uh... Oh, I'm sorry, but I am looking. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> it's kind of hard to miss, yeah. yeah. No. I mean, we're not, we're not judging you or anything. Is that, is that normal here? Is that like the common cold or like what? That dude's got space on his face. <laughs> he, does, he does have a space face. You're right, Ragnar. Space face. That's so cool. Yeah, hey, space it's a, face. It's a chronic condition of space face. Do we need to get like some claritin or something or something to like, you know? You look you look like those sterans uh, that we had or something like that. No, I'm nothing like those sterans. Those things Except are face. subhuman. They're, they're scum. I'm more than that. I, I'm, a, I'm better than them. And okay. Amy, you look pretty well, cool. that just sounds right. like a classic case of denial. <laughs> <laughs> He's like covering I mean, his face like, and curled up. Helios, uh, right. we we really honestly don't care. Like we're like probably the only people on this planet that really would not care about that because we're not even from around here, you know. It's it's fine. Those Sterans are actually quite nice if you get to know them. What are you talking about? I don't. Uh, it's a disgrace. It, I can't have you see me like this. I can't have my sister see me like this. Well, uh, we're seeing you like that. Did you look pretty good? I may say. There you go, lad. Cheer up. Gedros <laughs> <laughs> dead pats him. <laughs> <laughs> he's very confused. Uh, he's obviously shunned Sterans his whole life. Um, uh, his his bandage is kind of like water damage and tatters. And he's desperately looking around for something that he can use to cover up his uh, thing. Um, I don't understand. I I, just, I have a disguise kit. I have like maybe a, a like a cloth or band, not a like a bandana or something. I'll just give to him. I'm like here, buddy. No, 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 need, no, no, yeah. Captain. He needs oh. to own up to this. This is his own self. I mean, he at should his be own done pace. by wearing masks now. All right. Just kill me already. Just Jesus, okay, that went, that went places. Uh, I, if you're gonna, I don't understand why you haven't killed us yet. You've beaten us. Just put me out of my misery. Are you just here to make fun of me? We literally haven't said anything to relate to that. No. You know, honestly, we didn't even want to fight you in the first place. You're the ones who actually engaged us. Because you're, you're demons. My sister told me all about you. At the first, I thought you were just invaders, but just, and just basic criminals, but you're the demons from the legends. I, it, oh. It's our sworn duty to to capture you. Hey, we're, I'm a bear, not a demon. We're the devils, yeah, that, that actually. That is true. The, the devils. devils, actually. The devils, yeah. the devils yeah. like pirates, yeah. He does have yeah. a point devil. there, yes. Devil, yeah, if you're gonna call us names and yeah, start with the letter D, please be devil, not D. 
I mean, they did eat. Why would, why would we kill you guys? Like we, we we know that you're like society's lied to you guys about us. Yeah. And you dead. The main the main threat, your sister, is knocked out. Like we're we're that's, good. That's a good point, Ragnar. I I kneel down next to Helios and just like, is it possible everything you've been told about everything is a lie? You dare wow. question the oh, Emperor? Oh. You ha- no, Roll you're just for persuasion. <laughs> <laughs> okay, what what he is gonna say is like, you're just trying to tempt me. You're just devils trying to. That's you're using treachery and trickery, like like they said you would. Now Roll for no, persuasion, but it's gonna be oh, pretty okay. difficult. I mean, he's been been taught his entire life. That... I'm just yeah, I'm just trying. Can I, well, I mean, I miss him because I was gonna say something there. But I'll sit Go ahead. Captain. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. a, what do you uh, want to say, Doris? Now, now, there. If we were truly devils, would you not already be dead? When we first met, we let you live and gave you nice commodities. And, we, we, you, you know, we, you I even let your me. sister to. You used me as a hostage. You, not really, no. We just kept you there because we didn't want you causing trouble for us, really. We were going to release you eventually. But then why and did you put that you crazy. You started the fight, not us. It, Both it, times. It, 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 yeah. If, if you didn't true. keep me as a hostage, why did you put that crazy woman in charge of me? She liked to. We, we, she liked to. We, 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 we honestly just us. didn't want to deal with her. She, she would. We were out of options. <laughs> she would prop my body up against the wall and shoot bullet holes around my face and laugh. Well, <laughs> that that is kind of her thing. We didn't right. tell her. To I do don't that. need to talk to Bullet about that one. I am so sorry, little yeah. one. Doris Pat is. I am so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> and just to keep in mind before i roll i'm not trying to like make him like realize everything's a lie i'm just trying to like open up that like maybe possibly right. everything just to open up that crack and see where it goes let's roll with this okay persuasion persuasion which is not something i'm that good 19 at. 19 though 19 that's pretty, pretty good. good that's pretty good okay so Can you see the assist from from yeah. noble well, noble, yeah, noble makes it advantage which gives it the 19 oh yeah, yeah. Sure. it would have been a crit fail otherwise it would. <laughs> no it would, that's only with disadvantage you're good it's yeah. 19 it's 19 yeah. um, so you uh, he goes well you haven't killed me that's something and you're not not, not killed you twice actually. and you're not <laughs> and you're not mocking me like I thought you would like everyone does what do you why but can't you see that the Sterans are subhuman? They're not as smart as us. They're not as... They can't do what we can do. They're... Do you, do you value worth based on intelligence? Like, if they're dumber than you, therefore, I, like, you're, like, superior and you can enslave them? That's pretty messed up. I've been taught my whole life that you value worth based on how well you can serve the Emperor. Oh, that's perfect. Your Emperor is an idiot. There we go. That problem solved. You can't say that. That's heresy. Eh? Why is that? We don't give a shit. (laughs) Is critique not a valuable asset to have? You know, to improve oneself. You'll be killed. You'll be executed. I mean, I guess you're already. The the order's already been out, my man. (laughs) I mean, like, we should have been executed multiple. I think we're still like. I'll be executed if I'm associated with you. Oh, well, then you don't have to associate with us, but. You can just stay away from us for the little bit of the time being. We have a little bit of a crisis that we he need to He points shakily to. at his sister. What are you going to do with my sister? Well, I was trying to enlist her aid. Um, she but we had to knock this, her ass out. She'll, Sorry about she'll that. She'll never but, help yeah. you. I... Mm, that's yet to be seen. She needs to see the truth, like you do, my friend. Have you tied? Have you tied her up or anything? Because she's just laying there unconscious at the moment. She's just Corona, unconscious. Corona, maybe you I should. I got it, guys. I <laughs> yeah, got it. Like you. <laughs> yeah. She she may need a little bit of restraint here. Yeah. Do you still have those sea stone cuffs, or did you use those against? Uh... I don't think she has a devil fruit, so I don't think. Still, it's maybe it's a good I... idea. <laughs> I mean, I think I still have them, right? I mean, I can. Regardless, yeah. yeah. Okay. It's like, not a bad idea. Blank. We don't know what yeah. she could do. She could apparently turn into like light and move a lot fast and hurt people. So. I've been hide- I've been hiding this all my life. I've been a, uh, uh, and I've been, I've been ashamed. I just, I don't want my sister to see me like this. She will well, disown me. My friend Helios, you're not the only one who bears the sh- the scars of disgrace. 
Duros opens up his chest and shows him just the multitude of scars and everything <laughs> going across everywhere. I ain't true. I've been shamed, humiliated. My family killed before me. Everything just taken from me by something that I trusted. But you, you still trust this emperor of yours. He closes his thing again. You have the scars yourself, I see. You have been lied to. I think it's time you need to open that eyes of yours that you've kept shut all this time and see what truly is before you. Is everyone just going to start showing him their scars? <laughs> <laughs> just like scar squad. Scar on my <laughs> At least Neuros got to keep his face. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Quick. <laughs> William yeah, is just kind of like, I have a scar on my shoulder. Oh, that's not even close to. Okay, you know what? Yeah. We, we've all been affected by like some form of government in one form or another, um, and that's the beauty of pirates. Like, not all pirates are bad people. You could kind of just find you're you're free to do what you want and base your decisions off what you believe you know like my my family was kidnapped by slave owners and i had to go to sea to come to like to, to rescue them the government wasn't going to help wasn't going to help me with that if anything i was pretty sure they were in cahoots like yeah Oh, yeah. My brother's a Marine. He tried to kill me more times than I could count. I oh, by the way, I'm going to use that ability to see what Trevor's up to. <laughs> oh, yeah, I forgot about that. Okay, <laughs> right. Wait, what? In the middle, so, of, this, in the middle yeah. of this, you... Again, you can only see through their eyes. You cannot hear anything. It's just sight. Fair enough, fair it's enough. It's just sight. So, you look through Trevor's eyes, and um, you, you're in a, like a Marine base you do not recognize. But there is a, okay. a large man talking to Trevor, it looks like. You see his mouth moving. The large man has this kind of like... It's like this wig, you know, like judges wear. Um, oh, like a powdered wig. Like oh, kind yeah, of, that powdered yeah, wig. Yeah, 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 kind of that powdered yeah, yeah. wig. Um, and he's got two big marine flags coming out of like his back, like almost like out of his backpack, two big marine flags following him. Oh, um, wow. And he's got this, you know, this big aura. Um, and he's like pacing up and down it looks like he's talking sternly to trevor like he's trevor's superior um okay uh you know he's wearing the marine jacket and everything um and he's is he like yelling at trevor's face or he's not like, yelling he just, he's just talking just like sternly, calmly like... and sternly not even really making okay. eye contact with trevor sort of pacing oh, up and okay. down as trevor's uh talking to him um all right i go back and i'm like ha he's getting chewed out right now fun time <laughs> Anybody else we should check on while we're mm -hmm. while we have this opportunity? I could think how's of my, a few people. How's my kingdom going? Actually, I'm curious. Yeah, let's check on Jasper. Okay, sight yeah. beyond sight. Zoom. You look into the sight. Um, you see through Jasper's eyes. Uh, he's currently walking through the marketplace of um, oh. the Terraco Kingdom, and everything seems like bright and happy. And oh. there's a rainbow. And there's a rainbow. <laughs> uh, you look. He he looks oh. down, and uh, he's currently like holding hands with this little girl, this little blonde girl, which you notice immediately as Molly, Adam's sister. Adam's and she's, sister. Okay. She's looking really healthy and a lot better, and oh. she's got um, and she's wearing Guys, a little bit more. Guys, this is so wholesome right now. It's incredible. <laughs> Duros she's is just little... happy as he as he hears Tekking say, "Oh, the, 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 the captain's <laughs> 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 She's got li little fancy clothes on, and Jasper like walks up to a baker and buys Molly um this like uh little pastry treat and gives it Aww. gives it to her, and they like share this little meal, and the baker's smiling, and everything's great, and uh, I, lovely. Duros. Turaco Kingdom looks absolutely perfect. It looks, but we should honestly retire there after this is all done. <laughs> Fantastic. Yeah. Oh, now, wonderful. Here's the thing I'm going to try to do. I just want to test to see how this would work. I'm going to try to see through Adam's eyes. I want to see what will happen if I try looking through the eyes of a dead person. It's, it's nothing or what? All right. It's just darkness. Just nothing. All you right. Try, try and with... nothing comes. All right. After confirming that, I'm going to test this out with Arzen. You try and look through Arzen's eyes, okay. and you see glass. It's like not you're darkness, inside. Not a, the same. <laughs> it's not quite. It's not darkness. You see glass as it goes black, and you see this sort of fuzzy laboratory. And oh, like shit. you look around, and you see jars, and you see little body pieces in the jars. And that's about guys. It. I don't think ours is dead. We might have to deal with that God later. Damn it. Yeah. God um, damn it. Uh, Ragnar, Verona, anybody you want me to check on next? Ah, uh, yeah, Probably. check on my son Magnus. 
Make oh, sure, sure. Good, sure. Magnus, what's up with Magnus well. today? I won't check on your wife. Don't worry. Maybe you should. Huh? <laughs> you check You check on Magnus, and he's currently, like, in the playground in, the, in a newly constructed school, uh, oh. playing with all the fellow children, which are half his size. <laughs> uh, you, you, as he sort of he's looks like around, yeah, yeah. Or, yeah. <laughs> as he looks around, happily playing in the playground, you see in the distance a giant statue of Ragnar just standing there, like, oh, it's cool. like this. Ragnar, you got a statue, like a giant and, uh, statue. Um, and and you see the smiling. Oh yeah, what's it made out of? Children. Is it made uh, out of wood? It was made out of wood. <laughs> <laughs> Everything's made out of wood. Kind of it's the mahogany? only material. It's the only material they have on the island. It's just a lot of wood. <laughs> yeah. All right. Uh, well, yeah. Everything seems to be doing good there. Uh, your son is getting a, a great education. Um, you know, the other kids are kind of running away from him sometimes, but that's fine. That's normal. He's pretty large. Like Magnus could definitely hold his own considering his age. But like, if someone powerful were to attack, it, it, it would definitely hurt me not being there. I think he'd be all right. Yeah. yeah. We well, should right, probably for, check for, on Hemlock. Yeah, that's Hemlock. We have to take her back with us. We yeah. should probably see what they're doing. Yeah, I'll, right. I'll do uh, Hemlock then. You look through the eyes of Hemlock, mm. um, and you, and you're inside what looks like a palace. And uh, looking to your left, you see Blake there, and Blake seems to be dressed in like centurion armor, and so is Hemlock as well. And it looks like they're in disguise. And as you look around, you see a okay. throne. And sitting on the throne is this man in big, sort of dark armor, black and purple, but a giant, like, lion mask. And it Ooh. looks, it's standing in front of him is a kind of big, burly man, which you recognize. You don't recognize his face, but you sort of recognize his clothes and build as Inquisitor Maximus. Oh, okay. I was gonna say it's not Dominius; it's no. Maximus. Well, okay, no, no. Okay. Dominius is uh, like the person sitting on the throne with a giant oh. lion oh, mask. Oh, that is that is looks the dude. like okay. the statues of Dominius that you saw in Astacampos. Okay. okay. Um, but, but Maximus is there but too. But it looks okay. like they are talking to someone. Uh, Maximus is standing there, uh, and next to Maximus is another guy with sort of green, kind of like dreadlocks. He looks kind of bored. He's got his, uh, he's wearing kind of like, like a shawl. What's that? I don't know how to say that word. Like a shawl, like, um, shawl, whatever it is, <laughs> he's, he's, you know, his arms are bare and they've got tattoos over them. He's got lots and lots of like bracelets on up his arms and like a necklace. He's got really baggy pants. He's got a huge sort of, um, pipe that he's just like smoking on. And he's just, he's, mm. he's got a much more casual stance. And then, oh, is it like a toga you're thinking of, or maybe I don't know. no? Um, I don't know. He kind of looks like a hippie, right? Like All a hippie-esque right. character. Yeah, we're roll with that. Huh. So like a yeah. toga, then. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Um, um, and, so and they and then it looks like they're having a conversation, and then they both turn around and leave. Hmm. Well, good news, everybody. It seems like they're. I mean, we're going to the royal capital, and they, they seem to be in the royal capital. So we'll probably run into them if we keep going. Oh, splendid. Saves us some trouble. Yeah. Now there's just one more person I need to check on. That asshole from the freaking betting cage at the stadium. <laughs> <laughs> Let's fuck that guy up. <laughs> okay. okay. Oh, <laughs> You're actually going to do it? <laughs> I want my goats. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Um, you, you look through his eyes, and he's in a bare living room. Um, the, the, a living room made of bears? No, a living room with barely any furniture in it. <laughs> and it looks like th there's, a, there's, a, there's a woman there, and she's crying and angry, yelling at him. And he's, it looks like he's making sort of gestures back, and she, she continues yelling and then like gestures at everything around her and then points at the door. And oh. all of a sudden, you know, you see this guy's eyesight drop. And sort of walk out the door. Um, oh. Okay. I, I, I zoom out and I'm like, oh, I uh I kinda don't want to kick his ass anymore. <laughs> I just oh. 
Uh, yeah, he's uh, that you finally have grown up, Captain. I'm so proud of you. I, I, no, I think I think he's I think he might have enough on his plate right now. I kinda, wow, Rustin, uh, that was much more depressing than I thought it was going to be. He's going to be there like, dancing around around all the dope. No, like, don't get me wrong. If I see him in the street, I'm still going to maybe kick his ass. But like, it's it's waned a little bit. Like I'm like, oh man. All right. Well, well anyone else that you want to look through their eyes? Any, anybody else, guys? Any random? member we've seen on our many travels i'm curious to see how mr jojo is doing Just yeah sure let's check on right. mr jojo from the uh the entire the episode is gonna be us it's all good all right you look through jojo's eyes uh jojo is uh he's like hammering away at the forge and someone comes into his shop who is it it's gregory from the marines from the clown place. From the, okay. Yeah, because he was he was the, the bald one, the depressed guy. Yeah, the right? depressed guy. Yeah, okay, yeah, okay. But he's not. You remember that? He, he, yeah, he's <laughs> not. <laughs> you know the name. He's I not. Read the wiki. Come on. <laughs> he's not oh, wearing yeah, right. the. He's not wearing the marine uniform. Um, and Jojo looks up, and uh, picks up whatever he's working on and fastens it onto Gregory and then pats him on the shoulder, and then, and then Gregory smiles. Which is a sight you haven't seen before, and nods his head, and then leaves the store. You don't know what Aww. he's up to, but they look like they're doing okay. Yeah, well, that's fantastic. One more yeah. person, and I—it's the—it's the obvious one. It's Boss. Okay, I, yeah, just, yeah. I just I have to yeah. check on Boss. Like yeah, I completely, that was gonna be my first person. <laughs> you look through the eyes right. of Boss. Yeah. Okay. Jason Locksworth. Is he still uh, on the ship? Let's where he's uh, at. Zoom. You're inside a smoky lounge. A lounge you recognize. In front of Boss is Roulette. Oh, the casino. Ah, okay, I see where this Boss is going. Boss is leaning on a table playing cards with Roulette. They seem very, very close. They're like touching shoulders. It looks like Roulette Aww. saying stuff. His and... giant tiger shoulders. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, and they're like... I I zoom out before anything else. I don't, I don't, I don't. Listen, I was raised by this man. I was raised by this man. I don't want to see... Where, he's okay. He's fine. Boss is cool. He's at the casino with Roulette. They're having a, a, a grand old time. All right. So, yeah. All right. Well, then. Um, well, then. That's whatever happens there is that's that's his own business. Okay? I don't need to know. All right. Look through my eyes next, Captain. <laughs> All right, I look through Duro's eyes. <laughs> Ooh, I'm looking at you, Captain. You see him? <laughs> I know. Yeah, yeah. I look. I look right at Duro's, and I do like an infinity shot, like right just, back and forth. Oh like, my god. Oh. Uh, okay. All right. Well, if that's that, then okay. All right. Nobody uh, else. We, we... Nobody else. And, and anybody else? Anybody I else? Know, else? I anywhere else before the power fades. Again, but it. You know, I think I'm good. All right. All right. good. Every, everybody I'm good. good. All right. Mm, Don't want me to check if your mom or your grand everyone's really dead in your family, Verona. Or are we good? Okay. All right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> I was gonna say check on your dad, but I've never met your dad. So yeah, I, it has to be I someone that Williams that. met. So I'm trying to think of anyone that's like maybe dead, but I could confirm with this power. But other than Arzen, I don't really think of anybody. I have an idea. What's your idea? What is it? Look through Duros' shield. Can I do mm -hmm. that? All right. It's not a pass. You, you, you I... try, and you can't, because you can't okay. quite get anything out of that. All right, Maybe that it has mean. eyes. I don't know. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> well, it does have eyes to me, aren't you, you little fella? He taps the shield. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um. But if that's everything, I guess that's that's okay. I'm that's good. That's everything. Well, we got. Th there's our recap. I'm. I'm. Hold on. <laughs> Yeah, that's everything. That's I don't everyone. want to make the whole episode this. So like okay. That, that's okay. We got caught up. All right, all right, all right. Great. Perfect. Okay, that was, we're caught cool up. Right. Yeah, one. we're caught okay. up. We had a little recap episode. We got everyone. Great. We got everyone. There we go. Everyone's perfect. Okay. Um, all right. So whilst you were doing that, uh, you can hear Luna slowly waking up. Uh, because, I mean, that's obviously going to take you like 10, 20 minutes to just look through everyone's eyes. and Yeah, that took a while. Yeah. So, you know, just for safety, I'm going to kick her sword away too. So yeah. it's not like right next she, to her. She wakes up. Yeah. She, I assume she's got the handcuffs on. She sort yes. of slowly wakes up. Oh, where am I? 
Uh, and as she wakes up, uh, Helios goes, no, and, and like hides behind a rock. Um. <laughs> <laughs> Where are you going, little friend? Jeros comes around the rock. Why are you hiding? <laughs> <laughs> I don't, I don't want to see it like this. We're not Be proud of it. Me, we're not Race that it. close. I mean, me and me and Luna were not. We're, we're really half siblings after all. Different, same dad, different mm. mothers. Um, ah, okay. You can. Uh, I mean, I think you could make that connection yourself by the fact that. I, I mean, I'm not related to any of these guys, but they're my brothers. Oh. oh. Fist bump. Oh. Fist bump, Ragnar. <laughs> Bam. 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 Um, so are you gonna, like, try to kill us again, or I mean, how are you doing? I'm yeah. just... Luna's obviously still waking up at this point, but Helios looks mm -hmm. down at the ground and goes, There's no point. I'm just so weak. Maybe it's because I'm half staring. Maybe it's because I've always been blessed, uh, cursed to live in my sister's shadow, but I know I'm not strong enough to... to f fight you guys i mean i'm i'm not even strong enough to carry out any basic missions i, I mean we we could have told you that like when we kicked your ass the first time but well yeah. not I now mean, captain you can rub we it in pretty weak when we started out as well and look how far we've come Just, yeah you... we're we're pretty impressive we're about to kill a god apparently so you can hey helios i'm pretty old i'm pretty old compared to everyone else here i'm 43 and when i was when i was 42 you could kick my ass a lot could happen in one year. <laughs> a lot could happen in the last like six months. We would have studied better from. myself. Yeah. I still shot myself like ten minutes ago. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Are you You're sure? finally part of the crew. <laughs> yeah, well that's became part We're of the crew. Celebrate I, when we get back home. I try yeah. so hard. And I I get so far. But in the end, in the really end. Matter. Like Look you. at me, it doesn't even really matter. Mm -hmm. Had to uh, fall to lose it all. I, yeah. <laughs> That's the title of this episode. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, yes. no. God damn it. I, I don't know how all right, to do so it. I, I, Duros, do you want to deal with, do you want to talk to to Luna? Because you two had like a vibe going on here. I mean, I could try to talk to her, but I think you guys would have a better connection here. All right, I suppose I'll go talk to her to see how she's doing. <laughs> Doros like walks over to Luna and sits down right in front. How are you, friend? <laughs> uh, uh, she's got pain in her knees, pain all over her body. She's still beaten. So she's not healed at all. She's, she's still obviously bleeding out everywhere and still in a lot of pain. Uh, you demon, you devil. Get, I, uh, well, I, I, I think we're a got, pirate. That, that's the correct term. You got, you got lucky. I'm just going to um, take a bow. Thanks for dancing with the devils. <laughs> <laughs> are you guys always this jovial? Just kill me already. Pirates. Well, mostly hey, me. You know the others are. are you? Have yeah. you already killed my brother? I don't see him anymore. No. He's not dead. He's right there. He's hiding behind there. that rock. <laughs> I don't believe you. You've. You're just gonna use him as leverage against me. You can Helios, kill me. Say something. You are can... you all right? Helios just <laughs> like shakes his head furiously, but then Luna says to Duros. Kill me if you want, but don't kill my brother. We weren't going to do that anyway. You don't no. have anything to worry about. But you're Remember, demons. you were the one who just decided you wanted to kill us in the first place. We had nothing to do with that. You, but you're, you're demons. You're here to bring... You're here to... But the, uh... well, I brought you your, your little... Uh, was, I, I forgot the Chabot. name. The Jabot back. <laughs> I brought you the Jabot back. I don't understand. Would a demon do that? I don't understand. You guys are supposed to be evil and sinister and manipulative and ma manipulative. Yes, that's it, what you're being right now. You're is just it not possible that everything you've learned in your life is a lie? But that's impossible. No. No. It happened to me. Yeah, it did. No way. Yes, I was debated as well. Oh, wait, that's a twist. <laughs> 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 uh. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I was tricked, bamboozled, if you will, as well. Uh, well by the Navy, no less. The military power in charge. I thought they were good and swell until, well, they left me for dead. I'll tell you what right now, Luna. I mean, we're out in the middle of the desert. I mean, you don't have to worry about anybody. I mean, if you want to have a conversation about this stuff, this seems like the good place to have it, you know? Yes. Your all-powerful leader won't hear you here. How do I know you're not just using your manipulative ways to... to... To influence me, like this, like, like you did in the past, to, 
Oh, that was because we were trying. What were we trying to do back then? We were trying to uh, figure out uh, how to get. Oh, yeah, we were trying to rescue uh, Liss's uh, grandfather at the time. So, you know, it was kind of like a life. Oh, I'm not talking situation. about then. I'm talking about like in the mm -hmm. in, in the in the scriptures. Yes. Scriptures. Manipulative, tainting evil. Okay, you're gonna, have justice. To you're gonna have to explain these scriptures to us. We're not from around yeah. here. What, what, what exactly does it say about us? How do, how do we factor into this? That is very interesting. I would love to know. No, no I'm not. Before she starts, Louis, cue up dramatic background music for this. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not also, telling you anything. This is, our, you this is our first time on this planet. Like we got, yeah. we, cla we, did, we didn't even intend to come here. We, I know. We landed here. <laughs> You should know very well that we are indeed foreigners to this land. <coughs> That's why I'm confused how we show up in like their holy text from like thousands of years ago. Blood. Yeah. She's sort of a very up. warm welcome, I might add. We drop down here. Your uh -huh. brother's trying to kill us. We're like, hey, we don't want to fight. He tries to kill us. We stomp him because we're stronger. Yeah. Like, <laughs> we we, we want to get home. And you're like, you won't let us well, get home. Well, and I'm like, one okay. second here. The lady is dying. I'm going to heal her. <laughs> She's yeah. Like, yeah. Let me go <laughs> yeah, Duros uses. Well, it's, I, I don't think I, I have one last med kit. I think that's Wait, all I have. You have two. I have you written down as two. Two. Let's okay. gave us a bunch of like potions. I can just hand. Yeah. You them honestly you speaking, I probably lost track episodes ago, but whatever. All right. So I guess I have one med kit left. Okay. So I'll use yeah. it on her to stabilize her. Yes. <sighs> she looks up, and she just succinctly says. The scriptures talk about a bunch of devil, devils. Sorry, devils, devils. devils. <laughs> the scriptures, the evil and the, devil combined. The, the, it's demon, worst. Evil. Evil. <laughs> devils, evil, evil devils. The evils. This, this, the evil a bunch dead. of the scriptures talk about a bunch uh. of lucky devils that betray and uh, manipulate our God, and and. Does it say we kill him? No. Hmm. So he, yeah, I don't it know. just tells you about us specifically. Well, it doesn't it's say lucky names. devil. That is pretty specific. <laughs> it mm. says a um, uh, a man of bear form, of beast form, a marksman, a gambler, Hi. a dragon, a boy oh. made out of water, a chef, oh. and the worst one of them all, a man who can turn back time. Well, that's not very fair. Where's Ivan? This is not... Oh. Yeah, I'm confused about you. I don't know why you're hanging around with these. You're not mentioned in the scriptures at all. Oh, that is weird. Uh... That is very weird. Anyway, kill me now if you're going to kill me. No, no, no. Well, no, Where... that's not happening. Where are these scriptures? Like, who told you originally about this? Like, were they found somewhere? Did this Dominius guy tell you about them? They're... Are they a Where best are they? seller? They're, yes, they're written by Dominius, our Lord himself. Okay, hundreds and hundreds. Now it's of starting years to make ago. sense. All right. In the so we got to talk to Dominius about what's up with this whole prophecy. Well, we were heading there anyway. You you oh. want to take on the emperor? Well, I at least want to chat with him about something, about putting all my friends in this scripture and calling us evil. That's not very nice, now, is it? No, it isn't. Yeah. We never even met. Oh. Plus, we're kind of stuck on this planet. We do want to leave. Yes, yes, as as my bare friend says, yes. He'll, I, have a, I have a wife and kids back home. He'll squash you like a bug. You're a Isn't suicide. that what you want, then? Oh, yes, I'm just... I'm just... I'm just... Astounded by your stupidity. I don't understand. Uh, well, I thought I'm you would want to run away. As well. <laughs> I, th I thought you would want to run and try and hide or something. Do you not value your own lives? Do you not value your own when you just threw yourselves at us? I underestimated you, I admit, but you just got lucky, as the scriptures always said. Lucky devils. So lucky you devils. You saw that coming, really. I mean, yeah. And, uh, oh. My dear, Honestly, I, I, I it, hear that your uh, your god has created a weapon to destroy other planets. Oh yeah, there's that too. We can't just leave if they have the if yeah. have the potential to destroy the people we care about. And it's very true. So we're going to yeah. march to the capital. We're going to see what's going on with this Dominius mm -hmm. guy. And if he's trying to build a planet-destroying super weapon, we might have something to say about that. Yeah. Well, and I do believe the f most foolish one of all is the one who's blindly following this leader who just said we were evil with no real explanation besides just calling us evil. 
She she looks off into the distance, obviously thinking. I don't know. I don't... I don't know what to think. I... I mean... I... I just... I don't know. How do I... I just don't know. How do I know All that right. you're not just manipulating... Mani, ma manipulating me? I... What? I... I... I've given my entire- are you saying that I've wasted my entire life? Wasted? No. However, you are just being a little misguided. That is all. Your experiences matter in the long run. Everything that you've been through has defined who you are, but you can change your beliefs at a moment's notice, and you can be right yourself on the right path when that happens. Well, Duros, once we kill this god or talk to this god, Someone's gonna have to take her place, uh, take the god's place, right? Like we're not staying here. We're not gonna rule this world. So like, no. it's always time for a so, fresh start, right, Luna? Like you could help bring your people in the me? right direction. Me? Your brother, your brother is half staring. What? Well, just gonna drop it like that, William? What? Helios, <laughs> Helios goes. <laughs> that wasn't even yes. William. That was Ray. He Helios <laughs> stands Cats up. Out of the bag now. Helios Ragnar, stands up, covering. Up, pick up the rock and throw them. <laughs> Helios is standing. Stands up suddenly, covering the, his space. and goes. No, he's he's lying. That's not true. I, I'm not. No. Luna oh, looks over and goes. Here, you little. <laughs> is that true? Girls comes out, picks him up. Helios. Ah. <laughs> I always I'm knew out. you were my half brother, but I. I didn't think um, someone going to pull his hands away from his face. I think Pearl yeah, probably sure. would, actually. Like, yeah. Pearl just goes, fucking... Eh. <laughs> and pulls his hands away. <laughs> Nobody cares! Come on! <laughs> and uh, Luna sees the ster half sterren uh, side of Helios and sort of shakes her head. I always just thought you were so... You were always injured. I always would just ask... Uh, why... But we always treated the Sterans like... I don't understand. What would Dominius do it's if you found It's almost like out? you've been lied to about these people and other things all this... If hmm. Dominius would <laughs> kill my brother if he found out. Half-breeds are strictly against the law. In interbreeding with Sterans is, is an illegal act and... Uh, and see, right there, wouldn't that be great if that wasn't a problem to worry about? We can make that happen. Helios, because I know I'm, I'm a disgrace. I, I'd be better off dead. He just drops down to his knees again. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry you have to see me like this. And Luna looks up at Duros with sort of like, um, what is like confusement. <laughs> Confu okay. like, okay. She's questioning everything in her life. And she goes, No, Helios. It's okay. You um You're 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 more to me than I would never even if you're half sterren, I, I would never that's the Ludo I know. He pats her on the back. There you go. You're on the right track now. It Luna, is not what matters on the outside, but the inside. I think it comes down to this. Do you care more about your brother's well-being or do you care more about this Dominius fellow? I, because if you care more about your brother, then I think you're on our side. I... Yes or no question. He, uh, Actually, it wasn't a yes or no question. Okay. <laughs> no, that was you know, not a yes or no. It all happened. That required had to be Tears start welling up in her eyes. I don't know what I've been doing my whole life. I've... I... To think that I've been oppressing my own brother and... And to, to know that I've been fighting for such a horrible man. I've never been shown kindness. Not even by the Verona. other Inquisitors. I lead over to Verona. See, there it is. There's the moment where she just realizes yeah. her whole life is bullshit. Yeah. I, I it was all I was all. trying to do was find my place in this world like we all are. And Luna, my dear Luna, he ne and Duros kneels down. I too was once in your shoes. But there was one person that came along in my life and helped me through thick and thin. I was lost. 
I had nothing to do. I thought I had nothing. My entire life has been lying to me by the Navy. But this kind gentleman, he looks over at the captain. He showed uh, me oh, something. Oh, shit, you're talking about me. Oh, okay. <laughs> he showed me something. Th- of a freedom. A willing to think. To go outside my, sk- my uh, box, so to say. And to see that the world is much larger than what I thought it was. My... <laughs> I always thought the world was a cold and heartless place, and I was always strict with my brother because I just wanted to prepare him for the way I just... I've never been treated, especially by my enemies, with this sort of kindness, and I... I don't understand why you're doing this. Well, well, I, I'm nobody. You only met me a few days ago. I'm nobody to you. Why are you putting so much effort into? Nobody? Ha! That is not what I see. I saw a mighty foe. Someone that was able to stand up against us. A willingness to fight for what she believed is right. You were just a little misguided. But now. Doros, like, stands up and helps her up to her feet. You stand. You can use this power and use your knowledge that you have gained through the years to help free your people from this oppression and show them the truth of what is right. Will you fight with us? I'm so sorry. This is probably not a good look. I'm supposed to be strong. I give her a handkerchief. But I... I feel like everything is... I don't know what to say. And as she's sort of tearing up and um, and sort of having a, a kind of her whole life rearranged, um, Helios, you see Helios start to tear up as well and sort of walk up to his sister and and sort of like hold her. Well, can't hold her hand because he's got the cuffs on, but like yeah. sort of like. <laughs> Pulls her in. Verona, may- maybe, maybe you should. I, I-, I think we can trust her. Yes, I think we can, I trust think her. We can undo the cuffs now. Uh, all right. Big clank. Yes. I always thought you uh, hated me, and I always thought I was a burden. Helio says, "I was a burden to everyone. I was always so pathetic." To know that this whole time I didn't realize you cared so much about me. I, I'm. I'm I'm so sorry that I, uh, I'm just so sorry. And they kind of both hug a little bit. Um, Duros hugs them both. There, there you are. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there you are, yes. This is good. I'm your group hug. I'm your group hug. <laughs> yes. This is what I call a bear hug. <laughs> <laughs> um, Luna sort of wipes away the tears and then looks at Duros. And goes, okay. You're heading to the capital, right? Indeed. I can, I'm really uh, still quite beaten up. But I can help you as much as you need me to. I... I can, I can lead you to the capital. Um, that, would, that would be amazing. That would be amazing, thank you. I can tell you straight up now before... We have to go for the direct approach. Um, there's no alternative route into the capital. There's no oh. hidden passages or anything. Not, not, that's not Dominius's way of doing things. So we have to knock Fair down enough. that gate. Walk hmm. through the front door. Well, Sounds like well, it's my, my type that, of that, battle. Yeah, that is like a Ragnar kind of plan, yeah. <laughs> that is a definite Ragnar way. What are we looking at in terms of guards? Is there a royal army? Is there, like, you know... I, I don't think you guys have to worry about centurions. I think the emperor realizes how strong you guys are. That's why he requested specifically for the inquisitors to track you down and capture you. I think the only person okay. you're going to have to worry about is the two remaining inquisitors. All right. Well, then... I suppose it's best that we maybe rest up here if we're all terribly beaten up here, and then we'll head to the capital. I think that's probably the best idea. 
Yes. And then we, we forage on in the... Uh, what time is it? Is there night? Is it is nighttime because you see the moon. Okay. okay. Per perfect. Okay. Gravy. Yes. How, about a, how about a little, a little meal? A little... Yes. Like, oh, yes. Gravy camp. was cooking. Yeah. Uh, Okay. Hey, we're, we're gonna fight two inquisitors and God tomorrow. <laughs> the entire time, the entire time we were doing that, the yes. the epic breakdown of Luna and Helios, and you know, looking through the eyes and everything. Gravy is making an, yeah. an incredible dinner in the background. You know, this is right because there were there was already three at the party, but they did mention that there was a fourth inquisitor. I think the last session or the session before, I mm. uh, can't remember who mentioned it, but someone did. So uh, we took out Cornelius, and yeah. then there's Luna, and, and then there's, there's Maximus, Maximus, and then there's a fourth one there's that a fourth we don't one know. That you, that you don't right, know. So we, and we know Maximus is somewhere in the royal capital, so that's just yeah. the other guy that we don't know, or other yes. person we don't know. Okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So... We have a good pre-game killing god feast, I guess. <laughs> Alright, so... Oh boy. Gravy whips out the materials, starts making some food for everyone. Woohoo! What a lovely time for a feast! Isn't that right, everybody? I sure love food. <laughs> um, you know, the ingredients they have on this planet are a little bit different. They don't really... They have some really interesting fruits. Take a look at this. And it's like a weird, oh. like, elongated, um, yellowish fruit. Um, a little uh, green stalk. Which, if okay. any, and it's like, they call... Uh. <laughs> um, uh, I don't know what they call this. Um... It's not a devil fruit, by the way. <laughs> I was gonna say because yeah, he's got multiple like, of them. Yeah. He's got multiple of them. Do any of us know about the? Yeah, Gravy knows what a devil fruit is. He would, he would recognize yeah. what a devil fruit is. Um, it's not a devil okay. fruit. He's, he's like cutting it up. Little uh, the octopus, uh, Yaki is like also got like a bunch of knives in his hands and he's cutting up food as well. <laughs> Heck yeah, um, Yaki. <laughs> and they're making like a bunch of food. Uh, if anyone are familiar with FL Studio, it looks like the FL Studio fruit, which is not a real fruit, but it is now because in One Piece D and D, because um, you did it, because I did it. Um, it's so, <laughs> so you guys, you guys set up like a little campfire. Pearl makes a little campfire out of some dead tree logs, like breathes fire on it, and you guys all sitting around the campfire. Uh, Rona. So, uh, Lissa sits down next to you, um, tending to oh. some of your wounds uh, and, like, showing you some, like, small little things that she's been working on. And she also apologizes. She goes, I, I'm so sorry about your arm thing. I, I thought I did such a... It's so embarrassing. I, uh, I would, uh, I got... I I, I apologize. I can tinker on it a little bit more so it would be a little... I, I'm so sorry. I, it's, it's really embarrassing. No, oh, no, it, it feels fantastic, and I I know you're trying to help with my wounds, but Louie already reversed all of them, so I actually don't have any. <laughs> ah, oh yeah. So you're just kind of I messing mean, with I my just, arm. No, I just sorry. I I I just want to make sure that you're all right. Um, are you gonna eat anything? I I, I already did. I eat away from the crew, so they don't have to see my face. What's What's wrong with your your face oh you didn't notice before that is no. take it down real quick i have some unfortunate scarring due to the attempted assassination she... of me <laughs> she looks at your <laughs> your face and you don't see disgust in her eyes you just see sympathy she goes oh i'm so sorry i i didn't know I apologize. That was probably insensitive of me. I... Have you not... You're... You've been through a lot. I... I, uh, I could, uh... Give you... I could make something that... In, you don't need to wear the mask. I could make some sort of, like, mechanical, uh... Mechanical, like, thing to go on your face or something. Like, a. Uh, we could work on something together. I we could, but as Duros was explaining earlier, we all have the scars of our past, and like he was trying to explain to that lady over there, we have the choice to walk a new path, and I'm not ashamed. Wow. I just do it out of respect, and because you know, it might not be the most pleasant thing to look at for the majority of people. Wow, you're you're truly amazing, Verona. If if you don't if you don't mind me saying, that's really inspiring. I uh. I um, I just I I admire you a lot. You're, wow. Um, wow. 
thanks you're i want to see this scene <laughs> pretty amazing so much too. like them away from the fire staring up at the stars a little comet flies by <laughs> you're amazing verona <laughs> why are those guys laughing at us over there i don't get it <laughs> <laughs> no i am <laughs> just draws ragnar they will like, just look at me like oh, oh shit <laughs> 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 <Okay>. <laughs> Uh, it's quite a sweet little scene. Yeah, everyone's Aww. eating around the campfire. Uh, I am. Uh, I am teaching Helios how to play poker. He seems like he's had a long, hard day. I'm just trying to like, okay, a full house beats a two pair. This is how you play. <laughs> Louis is Not also say playing. About your face. <laughs> Louis is also playing with you, and you okay. you've played poker with Louis a lot, and he always loses. Um, <laughs> yeah, which is oh! which is why you play poker with him a lot. Yeah, there's that's even in the uh, the the, the what, one year what, what, anniversary. What, what, what? That's not in the one year anniversary. Anyway, so we are. So, yeah, you keep beating Louis, showing Helios how it's done. <laughs> um, and uh, Cyril is eating his food next to Gravy and, and Pearl. And I imagine uh, Duros. Um, uh, so trying to check up on Luna and. Oh, yeah. well, Helios is with the captain, so I don't have to check yeah. up on him. And she's sort of eating her food, and she goes, Wow, I've never quite um, tasted anything like this before. This is incredible. This isn't like the food. This is even nicer than the fancy food we have in the capital. Oh, I can say the same. I've never tasted food like this before either, but that's because <laughs> I'm from a different planet. <laughs> <laughs> wow. How does Gravy do it? His first time cooking with this food, and he's out, completely outdoing himself. It's crazy. <laughs> That's incredible. Wow, Gravy? That was your name right. Uh, good job, she says. And it is obviously very out of character for her. And she, then she immediately looks embarrassed for doing that. And she uh, goes, oh, she's, um, she's not used to giving positive reinforcement. <laughs> Gravy goes, Gravy doesn't even mind the awkwardness of that statement and goes, thank you very much. If you want seconds, just ask. I've got plenty of uh, produce. Um, and... Gravy, so he's always chill. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Thank you, Gravy. Thank you so much. Uh, a warm belly does a good, a good thing for all people. I'm glad you're loosening up there, Luna. Uh, yeah, yeah. Um, and I imagine right now you're just drinking. I was drinking. I, I'm almost so cold by now. Yeah. yeah. I miss my home. Miss my wife. <laughs> I miss my truck. Um, uh, yeah, I'm just, uh, I'm really filling myself up. Being a beer burns a lot of calories. <laughs> drinking, drinking, and and eating and partying into the night Dude, Ragnar, you should get drunk, go into a rage, and then become a bear. It would be the ultimate unstoppable killing machine. <laughs> it's already pretty hard for me to control myself. <laughs> like, I'm pretty good at not attacking people like Verona. I didn't say control. Yeah, yeah. I was drunk, I you guys are screwed. <laughs> okay. What'd you say? Huh? <laughs> okay, uh, never mind. <laughs> I'm just messing with Verona. <laughs> all right, all right. So, you guys all sleep and then wake up in the morning. All right. Uh, fully rested and stuff. I'm going to need these. Um, all right. Uh, Verona, you wake up and notice that Lissa is sleeping on your shoulder, like leaning against you. Um, mm. Which, uh, don't know what you want to do about that. But, uh, <laughs> uh, I'm just going to very carefully try to just set her next to me without her on my shoulder so that <laughs> I can get up <laughs> without waking her up. Yeah. Aww. But does it work? But does it work? Slide your hand. Do a slide your hand roll. Let's go. Slide a hand roll. Let's go. Whoa, 14. That's a success. That's not bad. That's not bad. That's good. You, you gently yeah. lean over against a rock or something. Crit fail through against a rock. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, slide of hand. Hand. Oh my god. Uh, everyone starts to slowly wake up. And uh, everyone's sort of fully healed, as is both One Piece and Dungeons and Dragon Dragons logic. You just take a rest, and you're healed. Um, uh, gravy made us a lot of milk, yeah, and that yeah, heals. Yeah. Well, all the of food, us. the food helps. The food, yeah. the food. That's Are, One is Piece Luna, logic. Is Luna healed as well? Yeah, yeah. Everyone's all okay. Good. All right, then. Um, cool. Sweet. All right. And 
She stands okay, up everyone. ready. She goes, well, uh, I guess today's the day we kill a god. That's That'll be a new experience for everybody. We'll talk um, to. Kill is a secondary option. We'll see if it Well, happens. Luna, what, what do you think? You said we got to be direct here. How do you think they'll respond to us just kicking down the front gates and storming their capital city? Uh, I imagine the, the, the people won't do anything. They've been um, ordered to stay away. Okay. Um, That's good. I just imagine that the Inquisitors will come after you. All right. But if you take care of them, then there's nothing in your way between the Inquisitors and the Emperor. I imagine. Good. All right. Um, he does have a plentiful Centurion guards, but the Emperor was quite specific about... Uh, Bringing us them you you guys to him, um, he's expecting us. Then that's yes. not great. That's not great news. So I imagine. What do you mean? That's pretty good. We won't have to find him if he's expecting us. <laughs> that is true. Also, we have some people on the inside, so that might help us. Do too. you have some people on yeah. the inside? Yeah. Well, oh, we don't. We know. just found that out. <laughs> we just found that out a little while ago. Uh, hmm. There's some other people that arrived here with us. They came and went to a different direction. We don't know the whole story, but they seem to be in good graces right now. They seem to at least gotten an audience with Dominius, and they weren't they weren't like you know in trouble or anything. They seem to be huh. like you know interesting. Well, oh, huh. I just had a thought. Hemlock, yes, has, Hemlock likes to go with the power. Whoever's the most powerful, she tends to side with. And oh, I no. think I'm starting to connect some dots <laughs> oh, that I did. We no, no, nobody I think we can trust upset. Hamlock. We can trust Hamlock. <laughs> We've said that before. We have and nobody we'll, to blame we'll, but ourselves. We could have killed her so many times. So that's <laughs> on us. That's I on us. I believe in the good graces of Hamlock. She will side with what is right. I believe. <laughs> Blake is with her, and Blake I... is just... No, Blake just goes whoever's more awesome, and that depends if we're going to be more awesome than this Dominius guy. Oh, I think we're more awesome, lion Captain. Head. She's a lion head. That's pretty oh, awesome. That is pretty radical. I don't know. <laughs> oh, you have no faith in our friends. How could you? <laughs> Wait, when we found out about this fourth Inquisitor, was that before or after? That was after Hemlock and Blake yeah. left. Yeah, yeah. They didn't even know about any Inquisitors when they left. <laughs> they knew right. about nothing about the planet when they left. They probably just discovered stuff on their own. Okay, so the odds of them being the, like a Hemlock being the fourth Inquisitor, that's probably pretty low. Okay. No, no, no. Okay, all right, don't have to worry about that. All right. you, you you saw that they were dressed as centurions. They were disguised as centurions. Oh, okay. All right. All right, well, I guess let's just get let's get going, and maybe when we approach the city, we can, you know, worry about it from there, I guess. Okay. Okay. Right. You start the sort of the, 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 the trip. It takes, you okay. know, quite a few hours. You know, mm -hmm. you, you get up in the morning, and you're sort of walking for maybe like six, seven hours, casually talking etc until uh, until eventually you see a giant mountain and a city built into the mountain sticking out the top of the mountain is like this giant like tower looking thing looks kind of just looks like a giant laser gun <laughs> giant oh big old weapon all right and at the base of it is this like castle this palace it is it like a volcano where there's like a mountain, but then like a depression and like the town is in it? No, or... it's more like there's there's a mountain and the town is is in the side of the mountain. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Yeah. I can, kind of, see. I can right. kind of picture that. Okay, yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. With big Well, we found the weapon, it. Captain. With a giant energy <laughs> cannon on the... Okay, Just I think... Sticking I think out of the... Might... Sticking out of the mountain. <laughs> Hold on, let me roll investigation really quick. <laughs> <laughs> um... No, nah, I think that's probably that, yeah. And Luna points at it and goes, that is the uh, the capital. And that is the weapon. Yeah, you don't say. Yeah. Hmm. Um, Verona, listen, do you think you can take that thing down? I can take fucking anything down. <laughs> 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 give me enough gunpowder and give me enough time. Why did she turn it American? Because <laughs> yeah, like she bullets. turned a bullet there for a second. <laughs> yeah, 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 it's just bullet there. Uh, <laughs> what I literally thought there. bullet was talking. I'm like, but wait, oh, yeah, fuck it out. Is this bullet with us? us? Did she? It's not with us. <laughs> she was at the ship still. Hey, listen, that's a good bullet impression. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't never met, <laughs> met no bullet. <laughs> you could change your fit. I ain't never Probably met no thing. bullet. Probably on the good side of that, yeah. It's now canon that whenever Lissa 
uh, is like nervous. She just uh, uh, murmurs to herself, "If you could change your fear." <laughs> So right. <laughs> <laughs> Just so that I can get the accent back. <laughs> Which is from Brave. If nobody yeah, realized, I, that's I, why I do it. I've never seen it. I assumed it's it was from the Brave, trailer. Though. It's from the trailer. <laughs> yeah. I used to have this is such off topic, but I used to have this joke where I would be like, uh, like, um, if if Meredith. Um, wanted uh, a, a different a, a different course meal if you could change your plate would you and it would just continue like that <laughs> or uh, <laughs> if, if Meredith wanted a different entrance into the city if you could change your gate could you would you oh my God. this uh, is good this is my kind of humor that's Rusty. that's like, wanted a different house this like is a, pretty... a house of lower estimate could you change your rate yeah <laughs> <laughs> If you if you have a problem with your friends, if you could change your mate, would you? <laughs> yeah. Okay. You're out you're out fishing. You're having a problem. Can you change your bait? <laughs> right, that's it. That's enough. That's enough. <laughs> okay. All right then. So, if you're if you're living in the United <laughs> States, <laughs> sorry. No, never mind. <laughs> and you wanted to move to a different state, if you could change your state. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> You could... <laughs> I'm so sorry. I'm so okay. Okay. Not be late. <laughs> I love it. Okay. 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 Let's just go through. Okay. Let's go through the album. <laughs> right, no, 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 no. Okay. No, no. So when it's Monday, if you change the date, date. Would you? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, like that poor guy in the house. He got you. Know, the guy that's dancing and stuff. That not the. Yeah, the guy with the the money at the cash office. Can you change your mate? Because he's you know apparently uh, yeah. he's, he's being dumped. All right, I think we're, we're reaching we're the bottom okay. of the barrel at as this point. Yeah. You guys are making these jokes. They're pretty bad. <laughs> yeah, no, but it's so as, easy. As you guys are making these jokes as you're approaching the city, and okay. All right, yeah, you okay, approach okay. the all entrance right, right. of the of the city, and Luna goes, huh. "Not surprising, but uh, it's a little weird not to see any centurions posted." On the mm. walls, and then she just spots something in the different distance, and then sighs heavily. And she goes, "Well, don't say I didn't warn you." And suddenly, there's a loud thud, Boof! as a man just sort of lands in front of you guys. Sort of this burly, burly man, uh, shirtless. <laughs> um, oh, look at this big muscly, man! Muscly, shirtless man. Uh, he's wearing the fancy trousers he was wearing at the ball, but he's obviously just like shirtless now. Um, and How he's not wearing he? the pig mask anymore, but you can see his kind of flattened looking face. He's kind of square looking face. He goes, all right, mates. <laughs> no, he's not Australian. All right, mates. <laughs> uh, uh, fancy seeing you lot here. When I met How... you at the uh, How... yeah. How Ragnelius the <laughs> third. And yeah. hey, what I up, don't man? even remember your stupid fake name. He's like cracking his knuckles. Uh, when I met you lot, you did a good job fooling me, but I ain't so bright up here. But I make up with it. With pure strength. Um, oh man, I want to arm wrestle this guy. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then, um, in in the background, you see a you see a, a like further back, obviously less aggressive, a man with sort of green dreadlocks, uh, like a red bandana. Uh, like a necklace band, like bracelets all up and down his arms, uh, like a shawl, um, and baggy baggy trousers, uh, sort of floating on the back of like a a sort of cloudy smoke bird. Who goes? He just sort of puts his hand up and goes, ah, "Hey man, <laughs> fancy seeing you lot here." <laughs> what a pain. I thought you guys wouldn't show up, and then I would be able to head back home. Man, that guy's putting me to sleep. I'll take the big boy. <laughs> <laughs> this, is a higher, this is a higher version of Kizaru, isn't it? Okay. Okay. All um, right. Um, hey, Luna. Hey, Luna. What are you doing with these, with these fellows, man? You're hashing on the wrong vibe. Did they already take you down a level? Come back over here. You're gonna betray Emperor Dominius? Is that what you're doing, man? Luna goes, Asta, I always despised you. You always treated me with such apathy. And I've, I've learnt the truth now. 
and uh, I've decided to take my fate into my own hands. She stands sort of proudly, but slightly nervously. And if you could change your fate. If you, <laughs> well, this is not Lizard. <laughs> <laughs> Maximus. <laughs> oh, yeah, change your fate. Maximus looks over and goes, oh, is that right? We got a traitor amongst our mitts, eh? Well, he cracks his knuckles again. Uh, I may not have fancy powers like Cornelius or Asta. Asta spell A S T E R, by the way. Uh, uh, Cornelius or Asta or even you, Luna. But you know what I got? <sighs> he sort of blows on his fist. I'm really fucking good at punching. <laughs> <laughs> well, okay. While they're having this conversation, I want to roll stealth. Is there like a rock around here I could zip behind really quick? Um, well, when you say whilst they're having this conversation, he's literally just about a punch. So I'm about okay, to say Okay, well, then initiative. let's just roll right in. Verona, you're up first. Right. What's your plan? We have I'm a going strategy. To, at the speed of light as this guy's fist is coming towards Ragnar and Duros, I'm going to run up in front of Luna. Yes. I'm going to point over at uh, Mr. Aster over here. Hey, Get man. my arm all charged up. And then I'm just gonna say, but two words as I fire two bullets. Vibe check. Whoa! Oh. Whoa! Big Double hit. 31-31, I mean, you hit. You hit. Yeah. God bomb, damn, bomb. Verona. Bam, the two bullets fly off and uh, they vibe check Aster. The two That's bullets- That's how it's done. Hit into Aster and he goes, ah. Ain't cool, dude. Ain't cool. <laughs> hey, man. Chill That's out a little bit. You're really hashing my vibe here, dude. <sighs> man, what a pain. Okay. Lisa goes, Oi, Verona! That's good! You want me to fire off the same guy? Uh, actually, no. Fire at the... Fire at Maximus. That way we can st hopefully stop his punch. Stop him a little bit. Fire at Maximus. Fire. All right. Yeah. She gets out her gun. Pew. She misses. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'm so I sorry. Died. I know how to make these things, but I ain't so good at firing them myself. I don't have that much practice. She yells Lisa, out. change your fate. <laughs> if I could change my fate, I would. <laughs> I'm telling you, I would. Okay, Ragnar, oh. you're up. Oh, just out of pure excitement, being able to fight like a big, a big strong man, flexing his muscles. I'm not. I'm gonna turn into a bear. <laughs> yeah. First of all, all bear right. mode activate. Bear. You ready to wrestle? I'm and ready to fucking go, ass, buddy. As per usual, he said he likes punching, so I'm gonna do two bear claw attacks on him. Wow. You hit <laughs> well, one of them. One you hit one of them. Well, one works. Yeah. So. Bam. You hey. claw into his body, um, but as you claw into his body, you notice it doesn't do as much damage as it would seem. He's got a similar thing to you where he's resistant to sort of slashing stuff like that because uh, he's got that. He's a, this man feels like he's got the flesh of a barbarian. He's got the flesh of a barbarian. He looks down looks and like goes, it would have to... Is that all you got? <laughs> I think I'm gonna have to pull out my axe against this guy. He's serious. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I haven't had a good fight in fucking years. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. Inquisitor <laughs> Asta goes, man. What a pain. <laughs> he takes a long smoke of his pipe, but he smokes out a giant gorilla. Shit. Oh. Haven't fought one of those before. The gorilla uh, lands next to William. Ah oh, shit! Oh, <laughs> and it's okay. a gor it's How a big is this? Oh god, I just saw it on the map. <laughs> it, <laughs> the gorilla monkey. is is a huge. It's a giant gorilla, and oh, it's made out of smoke. Shit! And it comes down. Uh, it doesn't make any noise. It's just a smoke gorilla. But the gorilla but is going to hit you with his fists. Uh, does that hit you? Uh. Um, I have 15 armor yep. class, um, Whoop. but yeah, um, I, you take... I have uncanny dodge, use reaction to dodge the attack. Uh, half um, the damage, so that half, 26 half will be half. Alright, so, wait, wait, what is it, half again? 
Uh, 26 half to... Th so it's 13. 13, 13, okay. So 13 plus 19, you take 32 damage. Jesus so Christ! fucking monkey pummels into you. Jesus oh. Christ. 32. So I'm like, it I'm makes... just there getting like, oh, I haven't fought one of those. Oh, you, you... Oh, <laughs> you hear like an ethereal, an ethereal Captain. monkey noise, like a. That was half. Da no, yeah, that was half damage. Jesus. Yeah. Yeah, not even my protection can save you. All right. Yeah. No, it's fine. no, yes, um, no, no. You are within range, Doris, because of the wolf. Okay. I could, I could. No, but um, it wouldn't, because... No, you, no if it's you, fine, no, just have no, to you get could. the you won't, No, 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 Duras, Duras, because we always forget about this. When you do the protection, you roll a d4 as well and subtract it from the roll. So, yeah, if, you rolled a, could... if you rolled a 4 on that d4, the first attack would miss. So... I mean, I'm more worried about the Inquisitor Maximus it, it, than the monkey. Don't worry about it. Don't, don't worry about it. It's fine, it's fine. I got okay. this. I'm, I'm gonna kick the shit out of this monkey on my turn. Don't worry about it. Um, okay. 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 I don't think I could do. I think everything else that allows me to like run. Because I, I only have one per match, match, right? Yeah, I only one. Do one no, one per round. Yes. Yeah, don't waste yeah. it. It's fine. It's, I'm it's, not it there. uses I'm your reaction. Right you only have one yeah. reaction, so you have one per round. This man brought a monkey to a bear fight. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. It is Cyril's turn. Cyril goes. Do us. Do us. What do I do? Oh, it's me. Um. Well, let's see if you can trap one of the Inquisitors in a... Actually, he's probably got a lot of strength. Or what, Do you think the smoking guy has a lot of strength? Mind William that. is just like... Bro no, no, I'm like, I think he might have some. Well, we've been talking to him a while. Can I use Know Thy Enemy? Uh, Go ahead. I want to use Know Thy Enemy against uh, the Inquisitor Alpha to see if he has bigger strength than me. He has smaller strength than you. All right. Well, then... He doesn't seem like the, uh, the strong type, so try, Cyril, to capture him in a bubble. Oh, 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 oh okay. Um, so, he's going to create the bubble, and Mr. Aster has got to do a saving throw. I'm pretty sure it's just a strength saving throw against the check. I think that's what it was right. last time. Uh, let's do it. No. Ooh. Oh, no! That yeah, he's fun. Um, yeah. But... He only has one of these. No. He has a legendary action, he, doesn't he? Not legendary action. The uh, I don't remember what it's called, but the legendary save, where he, he has one of them. Uh, so he uses that to s instead succeed on that roll. Okay. Damn. But he, you have used that up now. So he, in right. the future. So, um, so Cyril creates this watery sphere, and Aster, with his sort of bird, he gets... He, sort of surrounds himself with the uh, the smoke bird and sort of bursts out of the watery sphere and goes, hey man, that's not cool. Uh, I, man, you're really harsh in my mellow here, buddy. Um, <laughs> I, <laughs> all right. <laughs> we, ain't, we ain't on the same wavelength. Okay, Helios. Which is uh, William? What does yeah, Helios do? Checking. Um, Legendary okay. resistance is what it's called, but it's good. Okay. All right. Uh, yeah, uh, he Helios, come and come and fight this damn monkey with me, please. Okay. Are you sure about that? Yes. Right. <laughs> okay. Um. He stab it. <laughs> he he gets out his sword and swings into the monkey, and the, it just goes straight through the monkey. Oh, that's not good. All right. And we're gonna have Luna to goes over and goes. Oh, sorry, I forgot to say. Um, you can't actually do any. These are just—they're not actual creatures. They don't take damage. You can't Gee, harm them. Thanks, Luna. Wish you would have said that a little while ago. I just didn't think. I just didn't oh think you would be so stupid. Well, it, I, I thought the fact to beat the shit out of me, I thought it would kind of, you know, be opposite. I could work. Okay, well, fine. Well, Helios fine. have Whatever. known. Oh well. Helios doesn't know. He doesn't. Well, okay, fair enough. At least I didn't waste a turn. Okay, that's fine. All right. Well, unfortunate. Okay. Uh, Inquisitor Maximus. Reels. Nobody attack the smoke. All right. Inquisitor Maximus reels back his fist. And he goes. Oh, Ragnar. He chuckles to himself. And he's. He goes. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah! He reels back his fist. Uh, it's like that meme, you know, <laughs> with the fist. <laughs> Yeah, the Luffy fist where he goes all, yeah. the, all the way back. Yeah. I was yes. thinking of Omni Man, but okay. Oh, that's <laughs> I was thinking of Pedro the Frog. Twenty hits. Oh, jeez. Twenty hits. Oh, he, he I does. will. I will protect. You will protect. I will protect and roll oh, to protect. Oh my 
God. Yes. Uh, 16, is that 16 your armor class? That's all, Ragnar? 15 is his. All right. Is that, or did he... What's your armor class, Ragnar? Mine 15. Okay, so you're going to have to roll that d4 for me, Duras. So I get a d2 anyway, like off of it, I should say, too, because my armor, sh my shield protect? No, 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 no. That, that, that's just to your own armor class. That, oh, okay, yeah. all right. So yeah. all right. he gets disadvantage, so he's got a 16. Now you roll a d4. So... You need to roll a two or higher, essentially. If you roll Please. a one... Yeah! Two, <laughs> okay, so Inquisitor Maximus, boy. you feel the power of this fist. He only gets one attack, but it's a big um. The power of this fist coming towards you, Ragnar. His fist goes like this deep black color, uh, and it's sort of sparking as it, it as it drives towards you. And then Duros, um, Zewulfo comes out, and you move your shield with the Zewulfo energy, and block the attack. And poof, there's like this green energy around your shield, and the shield goes. Oh, yeah, that feels good. <laughs> oh, no, Matt. Oh, no, your, your shield is kinky. No, his <laughs> shield. Oh, no. Yeah. You, you got the Thank, kinky shield. Thanks for the save, girl. That looks like it packed a punch. God damn. Well, there's lots oh. of punch. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh. Um, Duras. Um, you, the, the shield... You feel like this power in the shield. The, the, the shield's like, oh, yes, that's good. That's good. Um, okay. Quizster Maximus just has the one punch. He's like one punch man. So William, it's your turn. All right, I can honestly say this is not a situation I ever found myself in. I'm gonna roll the devil fruit first and see what we get and just take it from there. 263. Oh gosh, two hundred. Why 200s? I know, right? Yeah. I'm getting a lot of those. 263, let's take a look. 263. Like yeah. Oh gosh, I hate 263. Oh god. <laughs> I don't uh, hate 263. Uh, what is 263? I'm joking, I'm joking. Well, that makes no fucking sense. <laughs> <laughs> oh good. That's not necessarily a bad thing. Using different parts of your body becomes natural. Oh, for example, using your left hand instead of your right hand to shoot a gun. What I'm going to say for you then... You're William, ambidextrous. You're ambidextrous. I'm ambidextrous. It's the ambidextrous fruit. <laughs> <laughs> what, what I'm going to say what that benefits you with is... Um, gosh, I don't know. You're going to have advantage <laughs> on... Um, you're not going to have advantage. When you make an offhand attack, you'll still be able to add... You'll still be able to roll it like it's a regular attack. All right. So I roll the devil fruit and I'm like... Okay, nothing really changed all that much. It's not a very right. good devil fruit. Shit. All right. Uh, well, I'm going to... You could spin again. Yeah, how, can how I? How you have? I just slept. He slept. So I five. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Good again. <laughs> yeah. Okay, screw that. <laughs> like, did it, did it, did it. Oh, God, no. Did it, did it, did it. <laughs> all right. <laughs> okay. Before I hit enter, please, for the love of the devil's luck, Three. That's like buggies or something. Three. That might be, uh, that's smokers, oh isn't it? Please. I don't know. 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 Three. That's a cannon no. fruit, but I'm not sure which one. It's Alveda's fruit. Oh, oh slip, slip, I, fruit. I, I slip slip fruit. Okay. That's pretty good. Yeah. That's pretty good. Three is the oh, lowest man. number we've gotten. That is Alveda's fruit. Because yeah, you actually right. see Alveda's fruit before you see smokers fruit in the anime, in the manga. At Logtown, I'm pretty sure. No, no well, yeah, have. she should. No, she shows up in a cover page first. Yeah, you yeah. do. Yeah, so, you do. You yeah, do. there you go. So it's Alveda's okay. fruit. Okay, um, so I get super slippery, and uh, you know what? That actually might help. Can I use that to just slip right, like, th not through, but, like, under the, the ape or something? I'm basically going to be heading toward Aster. Yes, you can um, slip. You can't quite reach him in this turn, but you can slip and wake your way towards him, yes. Okay. Uh, well, I'm not going to go toward him. I'm just going to go, like... You know, like in the middle, kind of behind, uh, honestly, right next to this tree. It's a tree in between Aster and the ape and yes. everybody. I'm kind of yes. hiding within the brambles of like this dead There's tree. There's like dead trees and rocks um, scattered around uh, in front of the gate and the so walls. So I'm like, oh, okay, swip, what? <laughs> Just slip over. Slip under. You know. And you slip over. Well, well, what she does, I take off my shoes and I yes. guess what she does. So I'll take yeah, off yeah. my shoes and like skate over to the thing. Like, okay. <laughs> All right. Okay. Great. All right. 
Uh, we'll see where that goes next, I guess. Yes. If he rolls a one, he does get the gum gum fruit. Just so people I know, asking. I, was so, yeah. I wanted that to be smokers so bad. Uh. <laughs> Um, yeah, if it was smokers, you'd just outdo his been... smoke. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yes, yeah. Perfect. Really, really God okay. Poe gets, um, Pearl unsheaths her claws, uh, and, and grows out her wings and go, looks over to Ragnar. Okay, Ragnar, you want me to help you out? All right, Pearl, I think you got to go help out, uh, William and, and Verona. I want to take on this big boy by myself. Or okay. me and Daryl got him. Okay. Uh, so she's gonna fly over to Inquisitor Asta and go, "Hello, buddy." And Asta goes, "Oh, hey there, little lady. What's up with you?" <laughs> 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 it's so apathetic. Uh, Pearl goes, "This is what's up with me," and is going to um, claw him. Bring out the claws. Bring out the claws. Two claws. One hits. One hits. Six damage. Nice! Swiping <laughs> across his face. Ah! Oh, man, you lot are so... such bummers. Gosh. Bummers, <laughs> man. Come on. Bummer, Bum. dude. Hey. Uh, okay. Wait, are we missing Luna? Where's Luna? Luna? Oh, shoot. You are. You are missing Luna. I always forget one. Hold up. <laughs> You're also missing me. <laughs> I always forget too. <laughs> Your initiative is seven, right? So yeah, mine's seven. So I'm somewhere in there. You, yeah. you I mean, there's you, a lot of people in this fight. All right, let's. Yeah. Oh, he'd be up like right now. Right? He would be. You're, you're right now. Yeah, I'd be right now. Yeah. Right. It's a right. real slobber knocker. It is. Um. Okay. Fuck it. I'm just gonna make. Okay, L Duros, it's your turn. Right. I shall use this newfound energy within my shield because it's whispered to me. Not nice things, but things that it can do. Can I unleash it upon the, the energy upon Maximus? You sure can. All right. Uh, uh, he's, just going, he's just making a uh, saving throw against this. So, All right. Um, a dexterity saving throw. So... You, you, you feel the energy in your, in your shield. You feel like it's something that it wants to unleash. Um, the shield sort of opens its mouth and out of the mouth comes this sort of like black energy in the shape of a fist and flies out in like this blast against Maximus. Um, oh, wow. Whoa. Yeah. Okay, then. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Um, that's a thing that we have that I'm glad is on our side. Uh, he fails oh. the saving throw, oh. but he is going to oh. burn his one legendary resistance on this one. Of course. <laughs> of course. So he's going to take half damage, so he takes 20 damage. As oh, he takes 20 damage. Uh, as oh, oh, whoa. Oh, fuck it hell. I should have known that's for. <laughs> okay. Um, okay, well. Oh, that's all my turn? I don't get to attack again? That's Yeah, use your action to do that. Oh, but that's a pretty right, well. decent amount of damage. It is a counter right. shield. That's what the curse shield does, everyone. Everyone wondering what it did? Um, it will it absorbs damage and unleashes it as energy uh, if it if it's used to like protect someone, okay. or either if Full it's used counter. To, either either it's used yep. to protect someone or it's used like let's say someone f fires let's say Pearl turns into a dragon does fire breath and he he succeeds the saving throw against that it will absorb it and then he can fire it back. So there you go. That's nice. That's handy. So That's it's good. it's a defensive. It's like the best defense is a good offense thing. So he can reflect damage. And, and the only downside is that it keeps telling you to kill people. Yeah, that's, that's all. Yeah, yeah. It's yeah. just a normal kill people thing. Oh, I don't worry. <laughs> yeah, it's like an yeah, impact dial. Right. Yeah, yeah, there nice. you go. All right, uh, Louis Le Clock's up. Louis Le Clock. Uh, oui, oui. This uh, William. Oh. Uh, yeah. You look uh, a bit uh, wounded. The uh, monkey uh, did a punch on you. It did. I don't know if Louis can reach me though, because I'm kind of far. I can. Uh, I can run. <laughs> <laughs> he can. Uh, I am capable of. I am capable of. Uh, but hey, hey. Here's a question. Can he use his time powers on the monkey to make it disappear? I can. Uh, hmm. <laughs> let me. Uh, let me try. <laughs> he puts right. out his hand. Let's give it a, a shot. 
Yeah. Uh, trying to unmonkey the monkey. The monkey, yeah. the smoke of the monkey goes right oh. back into Asta's mouth, and Master goes. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hey what man. What is that word? Hey man, that ain't cool. Yeah. Shoot. He can do that, and that's what. Yeah, he that did. makes yeah. sense. Yeah. That makes yeah. sense. That's a really that creative use of his ability. Yeah, yeah, it only existed for like a minute. Not even a minute. It's been like 30 seconds. So there you yeah. go. Yeah, yeah. There you go. Uh, it's now Inquisitor Luna's turn. And Luna's going to walk up to Maximus. And has a look at Duros like... And Ragnar like, do you need help? That would be splendid, Luna. She pulls out her diamond sword. And um, is going to... Uh, she's going to do five attacks. Instead of having legendary actions, because that's kind of what enemies use, she's just going to use them all on her turn. She's just going to attack five turns on her turn. Mm. Just to make okay. it, oh my it easier. Damn. So she still has the five attacks she would in a round, but she's just going to do them all in one turn instead. Okay, please crit five times in a row. Come on. <laughs> so she's not well, any weaker, but it just makes it easier. Mm. So one, yeah, easier two, for you. three, Good. four, Good. five. Uh, oh, ah, oh, eh, eh. Mm. So okay. 26, 23. Two of them? Uh, three of them hit. Okay. Nice. Oh, four of them hit. Oh, sorry, sheesh. no, three, no, only three, oh, only three. Oh, damn! Three, three, oh, okay, three, 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 three. Just three. So 16, 15, up, Luna. 15. Mess him up. 50? Yeah, I guess that's fucking right. I guess it's 50 damage. Um, damn, boy. Luna just cuts. Shink! Shush, 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 with, with lightning fast speed, cutting into Maximus. I'm like, oh, fuck, shit. Oh, jeez. Fuck! <laughs> <laughs> um, cutting you into him. A, you, you brought a fist to a sword fight, douche. His reinforced arm. Obviously, doesn't do as much damage as you think it would do, because he's got, like, that toughness, but it still very much cuts into him. And he goes, Fucking hell, Luna. I guess you really are a traitor then. How could you betray a Prodominius like this? He's our god. Don't you understand? Luna goes, I never fucking liked you anyway. You're so. <laughs> That's the main reason she's doing this. Hey. Yeah. Ah, that free spirit is coming out. Very good, Luna. Yes. You're Boy, one of us. Is that why you always gave me the skull, cold shoulder, sunshine? I just thought you were intimidated by me. Uh, I was sure that you would, you know, respond positively to my advances one day. <laughs> Maybe after I beat you into a pulp, you'll have no choice. And Luna, like, scoffs and goes, You take that back, you. Oof, you disgusting fiend. I will strike you down right here. Um, Verona, it's your turn. I'm just gonna keep my gun pointed at Aster back there and mumble under my breath. You know, smoking kills, right, buddy? And then just bang, bang. After oh! <laughs> oh! 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 Crit, 19, oh. bam, bam, you hit. Oh. That arm brace is really- Listen, this arm is really- the yeah, crit damage does an extra one damage. Hell <laughs> yeah, yeah, damage. We'll take it. Nice. Take it. Okay. Yes. The, uh, the the arm bracelet really helps. Uh, and Asla gets loaded with bullets. <laughs> oh, man, I don't even know if this fucking worth it anymore. <laughs> he says, <laughs> sort of apathetically. Lissa looks over and goes, oh. I ah, see the arm thing's fucking working for you. Oh, I'm so glad. Aye, indeed it is. Now, All right. This time, give that guy a piece of. Yeah. Give him some more. Let's fucking go. She turns her gun to the side <laughs> and fires, missing again. <laughs> Good we'll job, Lisa. Work on that. God bless Lisa for trying. She's oh, trying. I'm so fucking sorry, mate. <laughs> no, where's the Australian? <laughs> <laughs> she's just Lissa, That's who can't nail down her own accent, because see, she's Scots Australian. <laughs> she's, she's oh, crikey! Oh fuck! Ah, <laughs> oh. okay, Ragnar, it's your turn. This Maximus guy is actually pretty tough. Guess I gotta fight seriously. Pulls out the axe. And in that moment, it starts to grow bl glow black, just like uh, Maximus's fist. Yeah, let's go. Ooh. Armament. So I'm using... Armament hockey. Yes, and that increases my damage, correct? Increases your damage by that D8, but also overcomes all resistances. So whatever you do will be full damage. Also, Huge. yeah, with the way I- I will I... also use you, you... Reckless Attacker. Shrieked. 
I'm just going to say this about the hockey. It's uh, the w- the way that it's worded is when you hit with an attack, you can make it hockey. So you're not you don't waste it if you miss it. You don't waste it if I. Oh, either way, I'm going to use reckless because, attacker here. Yeah. Okay. But yeah, that's uh, that, that's good to know. Go ahead. Okay. Come on, something good. The reckless attacker I have advantage. Whoa, you hit. Oh, that's that'll good. Oh, that's good. Second good attack. hit. And a second attack. Uh, that also okay. hits. So uh, oh, do the damage with your first one. First one's well, the hockey guy. Yeah, 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 yeah. So roll that and then add a D8 to that. So roll one D8. Yeah. And then I'll add a D8 to that as well. Yes. That's not bad. Four plus 15 plus six. I'll do them separately because this one does full damage, but the other one will do half. So How did that one feel that time? So your axe gets blackened as you... St- how are you... Sh- Cutting into this boy. I, like, I, the first time I clawed at his chest and nothing happened, and I respected his like similar barbarian muscles. And this time I pull on my axe, he goes black, and I like close my eyes for a second and just imagine his chest as a tree. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Every time you use Haki, I like to imagine that you're just picturing the opponent as a tree. Because yes. <laughs> when the first time you used Haki, that was the case. Yeah. Um, so you just picture him as a, just a big stupid tree, and you set <laughs> the first slice cuts cleanly into his chest and he goes oh the tree looks surprised what the fuck and then uh the second attack obviously doesn't have haki imbued in it so that just hits normally so the half says 10 so in total you do 35 damage as you strike into him cleanly across the chest uh Mm. this guy is uh wow he's built He is built. Uh, I think he's still stand after that one. He is still standing, but now there's blood dripping down from his chest and a little blood in his mouth that he wipes off and goes, Oh, yeah! Ashley yeah! <laughs> goes, Man, that dude needs to calm down. This guy needs to chill. Yeah. <laughs> <sighs> but that guy over there, he needs to be taken care of. Wait, and as he's about to blow out, he goes, no, wait, what am I doing? I got this chick in front of me that needs to get... I need to make sure I don't die. He creates a giant uh, steam mammoth. Oh, come on! That lands right behind Pearl. This mammoth Pearl. is going to attack Pearl. Pearl! Oh, no! Oh. Please don't step on Pearl. Please don't step on Pearl. She's the linchpin of this whole crew. She's a dragon. The mad G. The She's sh- a mad G. Come on, right, man. I'm going to have to roll her the, the, the mammoth one roll because the cheat isn't working. All right. Okay. 26. Oh. That hits that, mad that's G, That's not good. Yeah. Um, with the tusks. And that's a... Dealing 28 damage oh, into Pearl. My. Pearl gets gored from behind with these two massive tusks. It goes, oh, 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 and then the tusks come out of her. She groans, oh, fuck. She murmurs underneath her breath. Uh, okay, well, that's, um, that's Aster's turn. He would have attacked with the ape as well, but you got rid of, you reversed the ape, which is a really yeah. smart move. Okay, Cyril's yeah. Good move, good move, Louie. Well, okay, should I get... I could try the war, war, what are we, war, war. Try it again, Zero. Neutralize the threat. And then he looks down and looks up. I can only do it once per day. He oh says, my God, but like this. Hydro pump, hydro pump. pump. <laughs> it's all right, it's his new it's ability. Right. He only has one spell slot for it. Uh, and he used it yesterday, gets Helios, then rested. He used it today and it failed. So, uh, he's gonna hydro pump. Let's go, Cyril. Yeah, you're really lucky with that, usually, kid. Not in this one. Not this time. Incident. Cyril fires off and it splutters onto the ground. Damn it. Pathetically. Oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> Cyril is either completely useless or like the or MVP. God. There is no MVP. <laughs> yeah, <there's... laughs> yeah, he's there. All right, Helios, you guys. Uh, William. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Um, I think just go after Maximus, man. Just help out your sister. All right. Uh, hey, Maximus. I heard you were talking shit about me. (laughs) 
Yeah, yeah, good, good job, Helios. Good job. Where'd you talk a mad shit? Oh, you're talking mad shit. <laughs> <laughs> Slices. He's this emo, he, he's oh, this emo guy. Oh, yeah. and he hits oh. twice. Oh, oh, good. Yeah. Uh, the that twenty nine gets halved. That that's pretty good. But that's the uh, the good. psychic damage doesn't get halved because it's psychic damage. That's the. Uh, God so, damn, Helios. Where was that when you were fighting us? Yeah, so he does yeah. nineteen damage. As he we does. might have had a problem if you used that. Yeah. yeah. Well, he did. He just kept missing. <laughs> uh, the, his his. The flame, the purple, like, aura around his sword, he slices twice into Maximus. And he goes, maybe I am getting stronger. <laughs> Maximus looks down and goes, whoa, punk. What do you think you're doing? Um, it's Maximus's turn. Maximus oh. looks at the four targets he has in front of him. Five. I've been. I want to. I want to know. Ragnar, the well, type of guy that Luna's to this side. The yeah. time. Looks mm. like Maximus is gonna go for Ragnar again. Oh mm. wow! Ragnar. It's his death. His death wish. <sighs> it's time for you to. I'm gonna knock you out one punch. Come at me, big boy. One punch. Twenty-one. Hey, land. 18. Uh, he's used reckless attack, so I don't think I can do yeah, anything. Yeah, it will. It will just yeah. It will be a. Uh, he has advantage, so even if you give it disadvantage, it just means regular attack is twenty one. So you can't, protection's not going to help here. So right now nah. you are taking this damage. Which you is, are taking it. Oh, thirty eight, which isn't, which is in the lower end. It's it's good damage, but that could have gone all the way up to like sixty or seventy damage, dude. Oh. Jeez. But that was a good punch. That was a good punch. With all his I'm might, right back he at punches you, one big punch into your sternum. <laughs> 38 damage you take, Ragnar, is the like shock of the- My body completely indents off of it. Yeah. Oh, man. Ugh. And you, you don't you don't take the half damage. That does full damage because it is half your base. Yeah. You take the full 38. He looks up and he goes, <laughs> Oi, you're a tough motherfucker, aren't you? Um, William, your turn. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I'm going to slip and slide right up to Aster, and I'm going to slash him with the finesse side of uh, the, the Eight of Spades. And just like, okay. all right, bring it on. Okay. All right. Ooh. Uh, I gotta use a luck point on that. Go ahead. <laughs> oh, Roll a d20. Yeah, yeah, I'm coming for it. 12 plus 8. God, so that one are hit. You kidding no, 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 that hits. You add the plus 8, you dingus. Oh, yeah, oh, ding yeah, dong, oh, yeah. dingus. 12 plus 8 is 20, and it hits. So, okay. <laughs> yeah, ding right, dong, we're dingus. We're good. Okay. You hit with all the right. aid of spades. As Here you slip by, you slice upwards into Aster, cutting into him. Yes. Uh, do you know that? Solid. Uh, what is that, 22 damage? Yeah. Uh, uh. And <laughs> I wanted to also ask you, does this fruit, like, because I'm slipping, and that's the whole point of Alveda, like, if people attack me, does that, like... Yes, they have disadvantage against attacking you. All right. Um... I still should probably zip out, but I don't want to leave Pearl to just get stepped on by a mammoth, so... I... What would a captain I'm gonna... do? I'm gonna stay here. I'm gonna, I'm You're gonna, gonna stand gonna your ground Pearl. next to Pearl. Yeah, I'm not gonna, like, you know, like, hit me, bitch! Come on! Yeah, you know? <laughs> let's go! All right. Yeah. Um, okay, Duros. Uh... Ooh. All right. Wait, William. Yeah. Uh... Aster had Pearl next to him, so you get the sneak attack damage on top of that as well. Oh, cool, cool. So roll your d6. The... What is it, 66? Oh, I, I, I can't remember how many d6s you have. Uh, I thought it was... Uh, oh, wait! Was already included, you did! You already rolled it. it. My bad, my bad. Yeah. That was that 14. Yeah, well, it's, it's included in it. Yeah, yeah, yeah my yeah. bad. Okay, yeah. Duras, go ahead. Maximus is in front of you. Spoiler alert, I never roll sneak attack. I think it's always included. Yeah, yeah, it's always well, included. Maximus, you dare say rude things about my friends and punch Ragnar in his chest! Look at it! You flattened his chest here! I will not stand for this! <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> he pulls out his so... benevolence, yeah. and he and I try to hit him. Uh, maybe do a menacing attack, too, if I can. Ooh, um, you, you want to take that fist. I see. I, wa I, want, I want him. I will menace him. Um, so let me... i got to find my sword. Where is it? There it is. Blessed sword. Oh, there we oh, are! That, that, 19 that hits. Good. And then... Uh, 18 twice. also hits. Very so good. do the two rolls of damage. He'll take half because of his resistance. But well, you are going to heal some of that health back. 
Uh, you well, don't, don't actually know, have any hit. health loss. So. <laughs> I didn't. I didn't hit her. So he 16. gets temporary hit points. And there I you go. and I do wish to use my menacing attack. Is what I was trying to do. Okay. Um, so got to roll an extra d8 on top of that, and he's got to do a wisdom saving throw. Yes. Oh, one d8. Wait. He's not very wise. He fails the wisdom saving throw. So let's go. He's actually, <laughs> so Duros. This is what happens. You mm. cut into him. It doesn't do that much damage. But your um, your like booming voice terrifies him. He goes, huh! "Wait, what the fuck am I doing? Wait, I'm gonna die <laughs> here! Oh <laughs> fuck! Oh no!" It's like a moment, a moment of clarity. Like he's all pumped up, but then he's like, "Oh no, I might die here." Oh no! No, no, that's shield. I knew, I knew, I right. Oh, oh, um. He's now frightened of you, so he's going to run away on his turn instead of making his action. <laughs> yeah. Well then. Um, well, all eyes turn to Aster. Aster goes, uh, Maximus, what the hell, man? This is... This ain't cool. This ain't cool, dude. Uh, Pearl's turn. Pearl goes, well, you know what is cool? They call me Mad G. And you know and why? So she breathes fire. <laughs> <laughs> <It's> just hot. <laughs> you know why they call me Mad G? <laughs> Claws are on fire. That's how it is. Please hit. Please hit Pearl. Oh. Okay. Okay. Yeah. She attacks Let's twice. Go. First one hits. No. Oh, Second one doesn't Pearl. hit, but the first one does hit for a 17 damage. Ooh. Slices down fire uh, with this flaming claw. Cutting into Asta's body. It's, oh, oh, man, this ain't looking good, dudes. Maximus, I'm getting the hell out of here. Louis, it's your turn. Oh, that's me. Um, that's William. Yeah, can we have him reverse the mammoth? Yes, Louis just whoop, and the mammoth turns back into smoke. But Get back, back in into there. <laughs> man, we underestimated these guys for real. They really are the men from the scriptures, man. I ain't like, I ain't. I ain't cool with this. This is such a bad vibe right now, man. <laughs> Come on, man. My horoscope this morning had bad things and I ignored it, dude. I'm telling you, man. We gotta get out of here. And Maximus is like, yeah! ah! <laughs> <laughs> He's running away, scared. Uh, Luna's like, Luna's gonna get advantage on these attacks. Yeah, attack of opportunity. Yeah. Not oh, even attack of opportunity, because he's terrified, so he's gonna he's get- He's terrified, yeah, yeah, yeah. he's running away, yeah. So that's five attacks. One, two, three, four, five. Oh. Oh, a crit. With a crit oh. on one of them. Uh, Those all every hit. single one hits, including a crit. Mm. Oh my god. Oh, he's dead. Yeah. He okay. is going to be I don't, dead. I don't, I don't need to add up shit. the damage, even with the resistance. Uh, well, I no, will just add in case. Up the damage. <laughs> uh, just in case. 20. Plus How 50. dead is this guy? Store cut through the resistance because it got through. No, Ragnarok. even with the resistance. 96. Oh Jesus, <laughs> Jesus Christ! Christ. <laughs> Luna, wow. holy shit! Luna dices him into cubes. God. Luna <laughs> cuts into this boy, and just yeah, God. just cuts cuts Maximus into little different pieces into different cubes. Uh, he gives out a terrifying scream. Oh! <laughs> And all of his pieces hang there in the air for a second. And then all of a sudden they drop down to the ground with a big <laughs> squelch. Mm. Um, Asta goes- Luna, do you want to join the crew? Asta, <laughs> Asta puts up his hands and goes, man, I give up, man. I ain't doing this no more. I surrender. I surrender, dude. I ain't doing this. I ain't, man. I, oh, man, I, whoo. Ah, I, dude. I say, all right, all right, give me, give me the pipe. Uh, he just, he throws the pipe down, man. And he like empties his pockets and there's like, Lots of little like. I like, uh, <laughs> I, I use the, I use my sword to cut the pipe in half. Uh, right. dude, I uh, I uh, I ain't uh, I ain't having this. I'm I'm good. I'm good, man. I'm good. Okay. Very good job there, Luna. And you guys right. have successfully beaten these boys. Okay, we did good there, everybody. Nobody died this time. Pearl got a little jacked up, but I think we'll be all right. <laughs> yeah, Nobody yeah. died, huh? Look over at the puddle on the ground. <laughs> oh the puddle of indescriptible. Oh, right. Someone definitely died. You know what? <laughs> you know what? That feels good. He got what was coming for him. Um, 
Yeah. Helios. He, see, I'll he make seemed sure. like the stupidest one out of all of you. I'm just, yeah, just to say, yeah. Yeah, Helios kind of like kicks one of the little chunks of meat. <laughs> <laughs> um, Gravy, we know what's for dinner tonight. <laughs> well, how about this other inquisitor? What was his name? A Aster? Aster. Aster. Which hey, I'm S -T -E -R. Assuming, hey, wasn't there a city? Wasn't there a city we were at called Aster Campos? Yeah, but that was spelled A S T A. K A A. -S. So, so no relation. No relation. Asta's name huh. is from Asterion, which is uh, the name for marijuana in ancient Greece. Oh, uh, so that's, that's how he got his name. I like your reference. <laughs> okay. that's nice. I got it. Okay. Legalize Asterion, man. Legalize Asterion. Hey. <laughs> yeah. So, okay. Luna, how is this Aster fellow? Is he a noble type or is he well, he's like a, Maximus? He's an inquisitor. He's quite powerful with his aberrations as he could just keep pumping them out but your boy louis le clock over there no he... and louis around <laughs> that's the most useful i've ever seen him uh <laughs> <laughs> me too actually good job louis <laughs> he draws high five louis genuinely the <laughs> most yeah, useful louis like genuinely useful. i didn't even can you heal me up a little job, bit <laughs> i could say i've never thought about that it genuinely is Dude, super useful. I, I literally, like, I was going to have, there was nobody really to heal all that much. And I was like, can he just reverse the monkey? I was just like, <laughs> it popped into my head. I didn't even know if he could uh, do that. He can't yeah. reverse your injuries, Ragnar. It's been too long. He can only do it yeah. in like a It was the same short... turn, wasn't it? What? It's like, oh, sorry. Right. Right. Well, combat's over. We don't know what's coming, Ragnar. We should probably save it. Yeah, yeah we'll save it. Later. We'll save it. Hey, that big boy hit me pretty hard. <laughs> <laughs> um, Okay. So. Luna sort of brushes some of the blood off her shoes um, and goes, well, well then, that's dealt with. Are you guys ready to kill Hi, the god? Uh, um, yeah. Uh, hey, Aster, do you, uh, you have any information for us? Do you want to come help us kill your god? I mean, yeah, so. I'm, uh, hey, dude, I don't have any more information than Luna does. I ain't even, I'm scared of you guys, but I'm also uh, hey man, I'm also scared of Dominius. Do you mind okay. if I just fly away, or just? Uh, no, I don't. What's the name of your little uh, bird friend there? I don't. I don't give them names, man. They're just creations of mine. Oh, uh, okay. That seems kind of boring. All right, you can leave. Okay. Well. I mean, yeah. You sure that's why? Is we sure he's the legion? Will he really run away? I mean, he seems pretty high, Duras. I don't hey, dude. think he's really going to be that big. Hey, of a man. Yeah. Listen, man. I will trust Luna's judgment on this one. What do, what do you he... think, Luna? If we let him go, do you think he'll be a problem later? Or He's apathetic. He cares. I, I noticed. He has no sense of justice. I used to think he was a disgrace. I still do because he fights for nothing, but he's a little bit more tolerable than Maximus here. You can let him go. He never treated me harshly, but he never treated me well. Well then, Aster, I think in the future maybe you should treat other people well. Hey man, will do you good. Hey man, listen, I learned my I learned my lesson here. I ain't, <sighs> dude. This is whack. This is crazier than the craziest high I've ever had. I'm saying you guys can do some wacky shit. And I, oh, I'm like spinning around like a slippery, yeah, like I might go, like, doo, 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 man, doo, doo, doo. <laughs> I need a, I need to go. I might go. I'm either going to go straight turkey or overdose. It's, it's one or the <laughs> other. Well, maybe, maybe go easy on the, uh, the overdose, but uh, just, All just right, stay dude. safe, man. Just, just, you, you do you. Hey guys, uh, slap him on the shoulder. <laughs> man, would this be an inappropriate time to, to show you some of my rap music? <laughs> <laughs> you know, like, <laughs> do, do you have a CD Man, I got, we can like, the grind, listen to later? You know, later, the, or... the grind don't stop, the grind don't stop. Bless up, bless up, the grind don't stop, man. Because <laughs> okay. I'm always grinded, I've always grinded. All right, sh show me some of those bars. Hey. Yeah, let's, let's uh, hear about the bars. Mm. All right, let's see the bars, uh, I guess. Hey, they don't want smoke. Anybody come at me, they're gonna choke. Hey, I'm a pretty swell bloke. Uh, one... One wrong move, then I toke. Uh, hey, I know that my rhymes sound absurd, but I'ma beat you with a mammoth or a bird. Hey, <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty great. Gonna come down on you like a giant ape. Uh, 
Hey, cause my name is Asta. I spit sick words like I am the master. Uh, uh, yeah, I'm number huh? one. Well, we stay, we vibe, yeah, we have some fun. Got the shotties in the house, yeah, we're gathered round. <laughs> when I'm up in the club, we about to go down. They call me Asta. A-S-T-E-R-A. With me, yeah, you ain't getting very far. That's that's right, homies, that's right. Right. I'm, I'm here oh, all evening. Uh, yeah, William, that was really good. <laughs> I'm, uh, I am not. 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 Ever. It seems like you guys would be way happier not listening to this Dominius guy. It seems like there's you nobody be compliment. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, ain't nobody complimenting my rap like that. Here. Hey man, and I've done that before. Luna just doesn't say anything, and Maximus just punches me in the face. Hey man, and that ain't cool. Go out there, man. Pursue your dreams. That's what life's all about. Hey, right. you know what? That's some inspirational words, dude. I didn't like you at first, but that's because some big man told me you were not a nice guy. But I can see you're a chill, a chill kind of dude. You've got good vibes, man. You've got good I, vibes. Don't ever like forget your dreams. When you, when you crushed me with hey, a man. giant monkey, but you know, hey man, it's, you're cool, man. You're you can, you hey, gave man. him a great vibe check. You can do anything you put your mind <laughs> it was to, man. Needed drugs. I believe in you, dude. I believe in you, little man. Whack. Little man, you could put anything you put your mind into. We, we're all just spirits at the end of the day. We're just souls trying to be free, man. You just got to look up to the stars and see what your place is among the universe, man. So this guy good. ends up being the ultimate, uh, like, guard, because he's just, we're not even attacking the god, we're just out here smoking <laughs> weed and chilling out all night. Like, that's, that's, that's his plan. And like, hey, 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 you know what? No bad blood, dudes, no bad bloods. I was scared of you guys before, but I see, I shouldn't have attacked you guys. I was just following orders, man, you understand. Hey, man. We got no beef. Oh. I got no beef with you, I hope you got no beef with me. Nah. We're all good, dude. We're all good. good. We're just, all good, we just, friend. We just met you. You seem like an alright guy. Yeah. Yeah, you're totally rad, guys. Totally all radical. Right. Well, hey, man, I should introduce you to now. my new friend, actually. Uh, Who's your new friend? Well, he's a, he's a new centurion, just been transferred here the other day. Uh, but oh. we, we vibe really well. His name's Blake. We, oh, man, he's, he's also one of the Blake. only ever guys who likes my music. He's a totally cool dude, eh? I yeah. I can I assume he would be. I just yeah. the name yeah. Blake sounds cool. Uh, that name yeah. sounds great. A great name. Well, I see you guys on the flip side. You know what? You later. I was feeling rough today. I thought today was going to be a bad thing. See you, man. But my horoscope was right after all. You lot are some pretty swell dudes. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> he flies <laughs> out of there, smoke trailing <laughs> behind him. Godspeed. I, I thought he was going to introduce son of a bitch. <laughs> all right. <then. laughs> All right. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. All right. Well, let's go to the palace first. Uh, we'll do. We'll, we'll run just a little bit longer in this session. I know that you two are doing long streams anyway, so it's not like. So you it doesn't matter. Any... Yeah, I'm here. So it doesn't, doesn't matter. matter at this point. <laughs> uh, yeah. So, um, it's getting darker because it was like the afternoon, evening as you arrived. It's getting darker now. It sort of grows dark, uh, and I assume you guys are entering the city now for the big mm -hmm. walk towards the palace. As you open the gates, <sighs> Luna unlocks because she's an inquisitor and they all have access to the gates. Um, it starts to pour with rain. <sighs> Some lightning. You notice that all of the people are locked inside of their... Um, their houses, you see a few eyes like looking out of the windows. They've all been instructed to just stay inside. And you're walking through essentially this like ghost town as you're stepping through the town, walking towards the palace, which you're sort of almost, it's all on an incline. You're climbing up and up the slope, mm -hmm. getting deeper into the, into the, uh, into the mountain um, until you reach this giant palace-like building with huge double doors in front. Um, oh. do you open these doors? Do you want me to open the doors, Captain? 
Duros, Ragnar, open the doors. Okay. Get ready. Very well. You said that. Oh, I'm so happy to. <laughs> Hello! <laughs> you, 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 you open the doors and your group filters in to this giant, um, like throne room, but it's made out of marble, like big marble pillars. There's stained glass all over the windows of this man in like this like black armor, um, just like doing various amazing deeds, slaying big creatures and monsters. Um, and the room has a couple of centurions down the side. You actually notice Hemlock and Blake in the corner. They notice you, but they don't make any sudden movements. And in the center of the room, uh, sitting on a throne, is this man in big black armor. And then all of a sudden, he laughs. And he goes, <laughs> And he stands up as he notices you, you lot enter, and he goes, I should have known this day would come. And you all sort of, sort of stunned into silence by his presence. He has this quite emanating aura as he stands up. This wave rushes over you. Doesn't knock any of you guys out, but you, mm -hmm. you sort of are shaky. Like goosebumps. The day feeling. that the devil's luck pirates would arrive on this planet. I mean, I arrive. I remember when I arrived on this planet too around the same time. A distant memory now, but I remember those travels well. He starts taking a step towards you guys who are, you can feel yourself sort of trembling slightly in his presence. His big glistening black, almost like obsidian-like armor. This, he's got this giant blade on his side. Um, oh. Exploring this planet, like we blindly explore any other strange and unusual land. On times, until I was blessed with this wonderful armor, and he sort of gestures at his armor. And it shows me, it showed me how evil and treacherous my companions were. I fought against them, of course. And the cowards that they were, they barely fought back. All they did was beg and, and plead, and I killed them all, of course. William, Ragnar. Verona, Pearl, even Gravy, Cyril. With the power that this armor gave me, I managed to kill them all. I slayed the men who used me, who manipulated me, stood in the way of my justice, performed evil deeds in my name, evil. These demons, these devils. <laughs> you can see that he's enjoying himself as he's delivering this speech. But in his final dying breaths, that demon, and he points over, the jabode man, Louis Le Clock, sent me hundreds, possibly a thousand years into the past. I was left stranded on this planet with nothing. But his armor. It gave me power, but it also granted me eternal life. It endlessly sustains me whilst I'm wearing it. It's everything to me. And so for all that time, I took the fledgling inhabitants of this planet and started building, learning, researching, rallying. I created a true religion around myself and created a new society, a new empire. And soon after this weapon is complete, the only empire. And I wanted my revenge so bad, I spent years trying to create copies of you so I could kill you again and again and again. I, no matter how many times I could kill you, it would never clean the sins that you have done to me. Kill the men who tainted my otherwise perfect legacy. <laughs> but today is my lucky day, my friends. Today, I could kill you again. But this time, for real. The people of this planet, they call me Dominius. And he slowly takes off his mask. Oh, shit. But to Here you, I am Duros. Uh, to be continued. What? What oh. the fuck, bro? <laughs> oh, oh, fuck. 